Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, I am beginning to believe that the confraternity war between Black Ass and Supreme Aya confraternity in Lagos State is not ordinary. As these two groups have decided to spread this confraternity war that they are currently having in Lagos into a new location which is very dangerous. I am talking about Ajegule. And since they started this confraternity war in Ajegule between yesterday and the day before yesterday, three people have been brought down. So in this video, I am going to be telling you guys the people that were brought down, who they are and who brought them down. Before we get into it, I quickly want to tell you guys that this confraternity war that is currently going on in Ajegule has nothing to do with the confraternity world that has been going on in other parts of Lagos. This is a different clash and the clash is not affiliated to other things that has been happening in Lagos. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So there has been tension between these two groups in Ajegule for the past few months. I remember on the 5th of February 2023, I posted a quick update that someone was stabbed in Ajegule, that the person was taken to the hospital and was in a coma. And that person that was stabbed that was taken to the hospital that February is a member of Black Ass. And luckily, that person survived and the person is currently okay. Since that February till now, there has been a tension between these two groups to the extent that some people that live in Ajegole started packing their loads and many of them traveled. But the tension continued until two days ago when the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down. Now this young man is popularly known as Varus. He is a member of AA. This young man is not just an ordinary member of AA. As a matter of fact, he is the leader of AA right there in Ajegule. They call him the Zona Head. And the young man was brought down in Ojo Road in Ajegule by some young men who are said to be members of Black Ass. Now, when I say Ojo Road in this video, it is different from the killings that has been happening in the other part of Lagos around Ishashi Badagri is also happening in in Ojo Road. There are two different locations but the same name. I think it won't be considered that I am talking out of place if I should tell people to avoid any place that is called Ojo Road in Lagos State so that you will not find yourself wanting. So let's go back to the story. So Varos was brought down in Ojo Road in Ajegule and after this young man was brought down AA members got angry. I got a lot of messages, even people that don't live in Nigeria. So all I could do was to post a quick update yesterday telling the Envy family that someone has been brought down in Ajegule that the best thing for people that are members of either of these groups to do is for them to travel. And this is the best I could truly do. And after I posted this quick update, in less than two hours, someone was brought down in that same Ojo Road right there in Ajegule, Lagos State. And this time, the person that was brought down is said to be a member of Black Eyes and he was brought down by some young men who are said to be members of AA. And there is a video of the young man while he was just lying on the ground after he was brought down. And after this incident happened, in less than another four hours, another young man was brought down in Ajegule. And the person that was brought down was also said to be a member of Black Eyes. And he was brought down by some young men who are said to be members of AA right there in Ajegule. And like I said before, a lot of people have already traveled before this happened because there was tension and people already told me that this is like a thinking time bomb that it is going to burst in Ajegule anytime. And this really happened. The governor of Lagos is aware of what is going on. And trust me, the Lagos State Police is 100% aware of what is going on. But I have no idea why they don't want to swing into action to stop this. They are 100% aware, but it seems nobody care. 
So what I would advise the youth to do is that you should be sensible enough to know that when people don't care about you, you should care about yourself. If you know you cannot stop the confraternity war, do yourself a favor and travel. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian View.